When things go wrong as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and when you want to smile but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns, and many a failure turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up though the pace seems slow, you may succeed with another blow. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are, it may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit, it's when things seem worse that you must not quit. Terry Hepner's Don't Quit poem inspired the Indiana football team. And with Coach Hep's passing, the title served as a reminder of what the team had to do without its beloved leader. Its goal of playing 13 was on the minds of players and fans as the season began with a 55-7 victory over Indiana State. The next week, the Hoosiers went on the road and knocked off Western Michigan and improved to 2-0 in a game that tested the team's mental toughness. Coming up here, we knew it was going to be a tough game, and I, I think uh, our kids really got themselves prepared for it. You know, everybody wants to say that, uh, you know, we're going to, you know, have a letdown or something. Uh, we didn't. Our kids had a great week of practice and really played hard. A 17-point victory at home over Akron put IU at 3-0, and and the Hoosiers were halfway toward bowl eligibility. Last year, we were just hoping we win. And going into the Big Ten, I mean, we got three victories, and we need three more to get to that bowl game. And that's the only thing on, my, on our mind. The road to a bowl would not be easy, however, once conference play started. First up was Ron Zook and his Illinois fighting Illini. The Hoosiers were given a rude welcome to the Big Ten season by Richard Mendenhall in a 13-point loss. IU's first conference win came on the road as Kellen Lewis completed a 71-yard touchdown pass to himself on this crazy play as the team jumped out to a 21-0 lead over the Hawkeyes and held on for a 38-20 victory. Despite injuries at running back, the Hoosier ground game came to life on the legs of Brian Payton, who had 90 yards and three scores in a blowout win over the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Coach tells us every day that uh, you got to be ready and it's going to take everybody. And uh, I truly believe that uh, every time. And uh, you just never know who's going to go down or who's going to be needed. One went away from a bowl game, so a little anxious. Uh, kind of in the same situation last year, a little bit more games to play. So uh, don't get too cocky. And uh, nothing's guaranteed to our six wins. So. We're on our way to our goal, but we got to take it one game at a time. There is no what if. We take one game at a time, and we know that we're cap what we're capable of, and we can beat anybody on the schedule. The Cream and Crimson were one win from bowl eligibility, but the next three weeks proved too much for the team. Strong running games from Michigan State, Penn State, and Wisconsin buried the Hoosiers, and the team was still stuck on five wins and facing a big home game with Ball State. November 3rd was a big day for IU football. Chris Phillips returned an interception for a touchdown, giving the Hoosiers the lead for good in a 38-20 victory over the Cardinals that made them bowl eligible and thoughts quickly returned to the team's former leader. I know exactly what he'd say. Um, he'd be thrilled for these kids, um, but he'd be looking forward to the next game too, because that was that was him. You know, I mean, he was the eternal optimist, and, and uh, he'd be really proud of these guys. But he wouldn't let it stop with uh, getting six wins. And I think about him every day, and usually. Our fans say his name each and every game. Um, it, it just really means something. Now we finally got the six win because he's been preaching on us to play 13. And now we actually got a bold bid. Um, hopefully we do. Um, as long as we get this seventh and eighth win, I most definitely will accomplish our goal. But again, accomplishing that goal would not be easy. After a Northwestern score, Kellen Lewis fumbled in the final minute, preventing IU from staging a comeback and instead dropped their record to six and five. So after 11 games, the Indiana Hoosiers were bowl eligible, but in order to be invited to the first bowl game since 1993, the Hoosiers had to defeat the Purdue Boilermakers for the first time in six years, reclaim the old oaken bucket, and defend the Rock one more time. This scramble by Lewis gave IU a 24-3 lead and things looked good for the Hoosiers, however Purdue had no intentions of rolling over. Jake Standiford caught a five-yard touchdown to tie the score at 24 with just 3.39 left in regulation. Jane Hepner and the rest of the IU faithful were extremely nervous as it all came down to the foot of Austin Starr. 
but Stars' 49-yard field goal sailed through the uprights, giving the Hoosiers a thrilling victory and guaranteeing the team a berth in a bowl game. Players and fans celebrated on the field with the old oaken bucket, and after the game, Terry Hepner was again on the minds of the team. I think he's so proud. He's just he is so proud of how they did it and the fact that they set the goal and they absolutely persevered and they're going to play 13. It's quite a story. Now, since he's not here, uh, that's who we go through to get to Coach Hep. And it's just a wonderful feeling to finally see her smile and know that we reached our goal and know that Coach Hep's smiling down on us. I know she'll feel real good when she go home tonight. Indiana was invited to play in the Insight Bowl on New Year's Eve in Tempe, Arizona. They took on the Oklahoma State Cowboys of the Big 12 Conference, and even though the team couldn't come away with a victory, they were able to complete a history-making season and fulfill the dream of a beloved coach. Terry Hepner would be proud of this squad, but his don't-quit message would remain the same. Brian Eckstein, Hoosier Sports Night.